But Shalom, Mr. Brothers, on a moth. But first off, I give all honor and glory to my power, Yahweh, and his son, the king, the Malak, the king of peace, the king of righteousness, Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the elders, head bishops, and apostles of Great Millstone. All right, here's another brother, all right, who was found dead. Okay, in the book of 1 Samuel, the Lord speaks that he will raise men up and he will kill men. Hey, this has been found true. We're watching it every day. All right, this is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord kill him and he maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. So the Lord, Yahweh, all right, he determines if you live or if you die. And we know that the wages of sin is death. You see? Right? So the Lord will bring you down to the grave and he can bring you up. Now, spiritually, that means that you could be down in the dumps. You could be down in the low estate and the Lord can raise you up. He said he raised the beggar out of the dunk hill. Okay. First Samuel 2 and 7, the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. So this brother, Mary and Barbara, he has experienced both sides of this particular scripture. He was raised from the slums to a rich man, all right? But he was brought down low to Sheol, all right? The Lord said he bringeth low and he lifteth up, okay? So the toils of this life, that you live in vanity and all the things of the world, they're not important, okay? The only thing that's important is serving your creator, all right? And these two third brothers out here and actors and athletes and rappers, they're serving the creature, more than the creator and that's why we seeing more brothers drop you see right let's get that let's get a ecclesiastes six and one there is an evil which i have seen under the sun which is common among men this is common among men now i don't know this brother's life but i know he wasn't in the truth okay i know he's not on the streets crying and sighing okay right just like the rest of the athletes and 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 uh, uh, entertainers, right? Okay, so this is common among men, right? A man to whom God hath given riches, wealth, and honor, so he wanteth nothing for his soul of all that he desireth. So the Lord will give you riches, wealth, and honor. But what else? See, the Lord said you're not going to be able to enjoy that in the book of Deuteronomy. We will plant fields, but we won't enjoy them, right? We would have daughters, but they would be taken from us. Well, you ain't going to enjoy the riches and wealth of Babylon, okay? Because you're going to have an oppressor over you. You ain't going to be able to eat the fruits of your labor like the way you want it, okay? Because you got to answer to somebody, right? So to continue, it says, Yet God giveth him not power to eat thereof, but a stranger eateth it. This is vanity, and it is an evil disease. That's right, see? So just like uh, Kanye West would say, you know, you're after the flashing lights, you know? You're not gonna eat freely out here until we have sovereignty. And that's what Mary and Barber, okay? And all the rest of the rappers that's dropping dead fail to see, okay? The money, cars, clothes, and hoes, that lifestyle, Ain't going to bring nothing but death, man. The Lord said it's an evil disease, all right? The vanities of men, all right? So in closing, the Most High is going to, she's showing herself, man, okay? He's showing us this is the beginning of sorrows. More dead rappers, more dead actors, athletes, all right? And just plain old wicked Jake, all right? Plain old wicked Jake. They love Esau and his world. The Lord said in the book of Revelation 18 and 4 to come out of her. Okay, come out of the ways of Babylon because all it can offer you is death, just like Mary and Barbara just tasted. Okay, all right. So that's all I got to say on this. I hope it's been edifying to the body and elect. If you have a body, you have a shot. All right, come back to the Lord and serve your power with all your might. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in the same situation as these brothers right here and these sisters that's fallen by the sword out here in Esau's world. This is the brothers on the moth. Shalom.